climate change might not be as extreme as once presumed. A new study has found that researchers from the University of British Columbia have discovered that previous estimates for the severity of global warming that stemmed from coal usage might not be realistic. Instead, they say, based on new methods of predicting what the environment will look like at the end of this century, that we are much closer to reaching goals outlined at the Paris Climate Accord than was previously believed. The study's authors, Justin Ritchie and Hadi Dalatabadi, warned that traditional climate change predictions are not necessarily realistic. The report says, climate change modeling relies on projections of future greenhouse gas emissions and other phenomena leading to changes in planetary radiative forcing. It then details the methods by which predictions about what is to come at the end of the century are developed and explains the alternative methods the researchers think should be used to make these predictions. Scenarios of socio-technical development consistent with end-of-century forcing levels are commonly produced by integrated assessment models. According to their findings, climate change goals are much closer than we think to becoming a reality. This orientation runs counter to the experience dynamics as usual of gradual decarbonization, suggesting climate change targets outlined in the Paris Accord are more readily achievable than projected to date, the study said. While their findings are hopeful, they don't signify an end to the severity of man-made global warming side effects. As Bloomberg pointed out, the bad news is that this is good news and the way a destabilizing climate shift is preferable to planetary extinction, we are still in a lot of trouble. The hope of the study is that if policymakers learn of the findings and explore their validity, they will be encouraged to focus resources toward lessening the effects of global warming since the issue will be less severe than they once imagined. The researchers explained this notion in their study, which said, evidence confirming steady state and recarbonization scenarios is unlikely would also indicate that ambitious policy goals will be less challenging than previously considered, 